Hi there, this is Kelso with another Fracture State Development video. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I've been working on for our map editor, as well as some navigation mesh stuff and some pathfinding. So what you're looking at here is kind of our new terrain system, you could say, in a way. Um, we had a lot of discussions about the kind of setting that we wanted to have for this game, and we kept going back to an urban setting, you know, fighting in cities, street-to-street uh, -street kind of stuff. So it made sense to build a terrain system that was tailored to that kind of environment. So what we came up with is this. Essentially, you place pieces of terrain uh, in a sequence, and they all snap together. So when you move a terrain piece next to another one, the edges snap together. You can see I'm rotating them there. Uh, it's locked to 90 degree rotation. I'm hitting the left and right uh, square bracket on my keyboard, so it's just rotating it real quick. Uh, the cool thing about this, besides the fact that it is super fast to put a map together, because everything just snaps together really easily, and you'll see uh, buildings will snap on top of this terrain as well, um, this allows us to build maps that aren't rectangular or square. We're not stuck with any kind of predefined dimensions that, you know, when we make a new map, we set the dimensions and we're stuck with that. We can sort of expand out in any direction that we want to. You just kind of tack stuff on top of what's already there, and it keeps going and going and going. So we really feel like this gives us a lot of opportunity to make some cool maps that uh, maybe don't fit in with a lot of stuff that we've seen uh, with other RTS games. So we're super excited about uh, this concept. Uh, in the interest of time, I'm going to fast forward the video a little bit. You'll see as I start to place some buildings down here on the terrain, the buildings snap to the terrain so they kind of slide around on top of it, spinning the camera around a little bit, and uh, the same keystrokes will rotate a building with the left and right square bracket. It just won't do it in that 90 degree interval. It's sort of a free rotate. It does it one degree at a time. So we're not as rigid with that. We experimented with doing some terrain rotated at 45 degrees, um, and it just didn't really jive well with the system. It didn't feel right. It caused a lot of issues. So we decided for the time being to just scrap it. Uh, what you can see here is I'm starting to place down some points on the map for our navigation mesh. And a navigation mesh basically is just a system that describes the walkable areas in a map. So obviously I'm placing some points on the corners of all the buildings because a building isn't walkable. You can't path through a building when you're trying to do pathfinding. Uh, this is a little rudimentary now. Eventually I'd like to do some automation tools for this to make it a little bit easier for folks who want to make maps. Um, the way it works now is you essentially place these points down and then you have to define each triangle for the navigation mesh. And you do that by simply selecting the three points that make up that triangle and then it builds you know, the, tr the triangle out from there and you just go until your navigation mesh is finished. And then when you publish a map, it gets saved out as a separate file alongside with the map data that gets loaded at runtime. Um, so we'd like to do some kind of automation that places stuff around buildings already to save some time for map makers. This does get a little tedious. Um, so to avoid that tedium, we are again, through the magic of video editing, gonna speed this up a little bit. You can see how I'm sort of selecting the different vertices and building out the mesh, it updates in real time, uh, which is handy to kind of see where everything is going. Um, and once we get into the game view, what you'll notice here, uh, first of all, you'll notice that we have fog and we have a different camera angle. Um, we're not quite sure this is the camera angle we're gonna go with, but it's kind of what we have right now. Uh, and I have my little cylinder guy there, he's moving around and there's still some quirkiness in terms of the path smoothing, so he's kind of moving to maybe some points that he doesn't need to. He's hugging the buildings really tight. Uh, that's all just some quirky stuff that, that needs to be worked out. Uh, you know, it's not, not anything that's too much of a big deal. The main point is that he's sort of pathing around these buildings more or less. Um, still some quirks where he moves through some stuff here and there. Uh, but, you know, we're moving in the right direction. So basically, this is just the A star pathfinding algorithm against this navigation mesh. And then the steering behaviors that I talked about before, uh, he's kind of moving around. You can see him changing directions there based on his mass and his turn rate and his velocity and all that kind of stuff. So 
that's all for this time. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget you can follow us on Twitter at Fractured State. You can also like us on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash Fractured State. And check out our ModDB profile. And don't forget to uh, come post in our forum. That's FractureState.net. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.